Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's tutorial on how to download the Apple firmware IPSW file uh, with uh, either using Windows Explo uh, Internet Explorer or um, Chrome. So a lot of people have asked me how, does it, how to download this file and why the, the file doesn't work uh, properly, uh, the I IPSW file. Um, if you open up a web browser in Internet Explorer and you go to my website 123myit.com you'll actually see and that web page loads there if you go to iPhone and iPhone firmware alright and then you have all the links here if you actually click on one of these links Internet Explorer wants to save the file as a zip file so you can do it this way and you can go through and actually change the file settings if you want to. However, what you can also do is use Chrome. And 123myit.com uh, If we use Chrome, we go to iPhone, iPhone firmware. go down and we'll click and we'll start to download you can actually see that Chrome recognizes what the file is meant to be and keeps it as an IPSW file so if we have a look at that um, and when we actually download this file When we actually, when this file actually finishes, so it's a, so it's a dot Chrome file because it's it's still downloading. But when it finishes, it will actually come up as an IPSW file, um, and it will actually uh, open up and go into your iTunes straight away. So you don't actually need to rename anything. So that's probably the easier way of downloading the file and keeping the file intact. Okay. Alright guys, so that's fairly simple. Um, hopefully that was helpful for a few of you guys. If that was helpful, leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you need any other, if you have any other questions, please uh, feel free to leave some feedback on the website. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.